How's it going? So today, on this next video, we're going to progress with weights. You can wear shoes. I'm not wearing shoes right now just because I have carpet and I'm inside and my feet really need to get stronger. Okay. So I'm not wearing shoes. You can wear your shoes. But I'm going to just let you just give you a little heads up. I got a weight. I got a 10 pound weight we're going to use today. If you have no weight, don't stress about it. You don't have to use weight. I got one five pound weight and I got two little two pound weights. We're going to do a little more of a full body workout. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Just a reminder again, if you want a video that's for you, let me know and I will make you one. You can even FaceTime. Um, I've got Zoom now, so we can even do a Zoom one. I haven't done Zoom yet, but I do have it. Uh, I just want to be able to provide what you need. So please don't hesitate and call and say, hey, Hillary, I need a workout for five minutes. Help me. Um, so that's where we're going to go with just a short little workout that you can use. I have a little previous other workouts you can check out. You can put them, take five exercises out of all of them and make your own workout. But these are just ideas because we get stuck and we get unmotivated and I just want to help you get motivated. Well, um, my challenge for you this week um, is to walk a mile. So if that's hard for you, do five 10 minute walks. And if that's challenging for you, do five three minute walks. Try to get outside and get the fresh air. It is beautiful right now. We need to be outside. So do the best you can uh, and let's get going. I'm excited for this, so I hope you are too. We're going to start off with light weight. We're going to start standing today. You're going to bring your feet as wide as your mat, and you're going to curl and press. So you can add your weight to the intensity you like. Here's three, four, five. We're going to do 10, so four more. And one, bring it down, right to shoulder line, keep the heart open. Find your squat position, you might come narrow. You might rotate your toes out a little bit or keep your feet parallel. Heart is open, you're going to go down and up. Press through the feet. Four more for ten. And down. Hands by your side. Now we're going to add it all together. Squat, curl, press. And if ten is too many at this moment, do eight. Do six. Last one, and rest. Now we're gonna take a step to the middle of the mat, standing leg, and again, if you need to find a balance, use your tabletop or chair. Feet lined up, and we're gonna step back, hold it here, and curl and press. We're only going to do four of this set and feet together. Reconnect, line your feet up, step back with the other leg and four and three Good, line your feet up, 
Now we're gonna progress a little more. We're gonna step. And down, and other leg. Make it nice and controlled. It's not a race, it's working together. And down, good. Now we're gonna progress even more. Stick with what works for you, please. So, bend. Two more. Last one. And switch it out. Last one, famous last lines of me. And relax, shake it out. Good. Now we're gonna come onto the floor. Here is where I'm gonna use one weight to make it heavy for me. My five pounds for two hands, and my two pounds are too light. Find your weight. You're gonna to come to your back safely, nice and easy. And I want you to grab that dumbbell or two dumbbells. Right in front of your sternum, you're gonna bend the elbows and press. Keep that heart open, shoulders down the back. Here's eight, nine, and 10. Hips up, down to hips, hips down, and up, and straight arms. Getting a little more advanced now. Last one. And bring it in. Good. Weights down. Bring your knees in. Legs up to the ceiling. Flex and point. Feet to tabletop. Head over your heart. Out and in. Two. Three. Four, nine, and ten, and coming up to sitting. Now we're going to come up to kneeling position. One leg out front, arm holds a dumbbell, and you're going to row. Keep those shoulders square. Seven and eight. Switch it out and pull, extend. And eight. Weight down. Now we're going to drop the weight. You can use one dumbbell that's lighter or no dumbbells. Line your body up. You can even stand and do this. I'm going to do it kneeling because it's a little more isolated, not core, getting it all connected. Hand right in front and straight up. Control through those abs by stabilizing. It's 
Easy to sway. One more for eight. Switch it out. Keep the heart open, head is long, breath is connected. So if you have any knee issues, stand and do this. Last one, and bring it down. Now my favorite are always push-ups. So I'm gonna show modified push-up. Draw the abs in. And just bend and press. Here's seven and eight. Coming back up. Now I will use one light pound, okay? We're gonna come onto your back, keep your feet flat, knees bent. I'm gonna angle it up so you can see. I'm gonna use the inside arm. And actually I'm gonna use the outside arm because I wanna use the opposite leg. Left hand, opposite arm without weight is into the floor. Eyes up to the ceiling. Bring your hips up. Left leg up to the ceiling. Hips lifted. Opposite arm up. Down and up. Here's three. Pause at the top. Now arm and leg apart for three, two, and one. Feet to the floor, hips down, and press for five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it out. Again, hips up. Draw the abs in up into the ribs. Opposite leg up. Arm up. Start with just the leg for three, two, one and extend and together. One more. Feet to the floor, hips down and press. And five. Good. Now I'm gonna switch it out. Sorry, my space is so tiny. Arm up, arms hold the dumbbell. Shoulders like to lift, so bring them into the floor. You're gonna bring them straight above the head. So the arms are almost to the mat and right above your heart. One more, and down. Good. Just catch your breath. So now we're gonna go back again. Relax the shoulders. Arms extend above the head and meet the hips. And if you don't have weights, but wanna add weights, my trick is grabbing a water bottle. You can even use a ball or a band. I'm gonna have you do two more. Good. And rest. Now let's get some obliques. Bring your feet to tabletop, hands behind the head, and Right into crossover. If you feel it in your back, bring your legs to the ceiling. 
slow through that rotation to get those abs and obliques connected and rest. Feet to the floor, sway your knees from side to side. And knees in, coming up to sitting. So that's just a quick little workout with weights, nothing big. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Again, ask any questions if you have any, if you want to further and progress. Take care. Cheers.